Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 98 in the book of Acts. I'm going to title today, The Apostles Disappoint the Podcaster. And I'm going to tell you the worst thing, I think, that the Bible says about Paul, who's an apostle. And I'm going to tell you the worst thing, I think, that the Bible tells us about Barnabas, who's also listed as an apostle. So we're going to find out that the church of God is made up of mostly humans who are discerning in real time, uh, on the fly, using their thoughts, knowledge, wisdom, and Holy Spirit. And sometimes that involves conflict and differences of opinion. And you can hardly even believe that the Lord wanted this in the Bible. He did. And we, we have to kind of work through as to why. So here we are. We're, we're just about ready to launch the, the second missionary journey. The timing of it is uh, the second missionary journey goes from somewhere in 49 A.D. to 52 A.D. Paul's been a Christian for 17 years, maybe something like that. Um, they had gotten back from maybe an 18-month trip of the first missionary journey. Then they've been hanging around in Antioch and Jerusalem and working out some theology for maybe a year or so. And then this happens. So this is from Acts chapter 15. The title of this is Paul and Barnabas Separate. Yikes! Verse 36, 1536. And after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, let us return and visit the brothers in every city where we proclaimed the word of the Lord and see how they are. Now Barnabas wanted to take with them John called Mark. But Paul thought best not to take with them one who had withdrawn from them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. And there arose a sharp a, a sharp disagreement so that they separated from each other. Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas and departed, having been commended by the brothers to the grace of the Lord. And he went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the disciples. Yikes. So Paul is, here's the objection, is Barnabas and Paul go on the first missionary journey. They take with them an assistant, probably a younger guy, John Mark. He kind of gets to the verge of the hard part of the ministry, that is where the sailing is all done, and they start have to, having to march up into central Turkey for a great distance, and he leaves them at the coast and comes back home. Paul describes this as a, that, he had, that he fails in two ways, that he withdraws from them, so a personal failure, and then a ministry failure, that you didn't go to the work. And the work was brutal, by the way. They were threatened, threatened with stoning in one place. They were stoned, left for dead in, in another, at least Paul was. So it was a very difficult work, but it was fruitful. So it was a, a, a great work. So Paul ends up going with Silas, who is one of the leading men of Jerusalem. They're up in Antioch now. Um, and this is how big their disagreement is, that Paul decides to take a respected but relatively unknown person to him, that is Silas, versus a failed, probably repented, but known person who wants to, to go on his second uh, a try. Now, here's the good news in, in all of this. The bad news is they have this horrible conflict. The good news is that um, that the young man, John Mark, was eventually restored and does a good work. All right. I wanted to get to the sharp disagreement. As my commentary says, they differ over John Mark. Well, the Greek is a little stronger than that. Uh, the Greek talks about in the intensity of the disagreement, provoking and stirred up. And stirred up, how bad is the stirring up? Both to words, that they have the sharp disagreement of words, but then of action. So these are beloved people that have been together 
for a long time, a number of years in ministry, and they separate their ministries. Now, was it the Lord's will that they have this sharp disagreement? In my opinion, this is your podcaster's opinion, the answer is no. It separated people. It was not unifying. Uh, They didn't conclude like they did earlier about some theological matters, where they finally come to a conclusion after a disagreement, it seems best to us, to the Holy Spirit, and to us, and then they come out with one answer and one unified voice. That didn't happen. I think this wounded the church, and uh, I don't think anybody said, hey, this is a great idea that you go you go clockwise and I go uh, counterclockwise. So I think that's the bad news. I think it hurts the church. Now, is the Lord sovereign with it? Yes. Did the Lord... Was the Lord able to use both groups of these peoples, both at this time and in the future? The answer is yes. So the church of God is made up of mostly humans who are discerning and flying by the seat of their pants and flying by the the, uh, indwelling Holy Spirit. But sometimes that involves conflicts and difference of opinion. I'm amazed that the doc, that the Bible documents this, that the Lord wants this documented. I think it authenticates the Bible, number one, and I think it serves as a bit of a warning for us uh, in the church. Be careful with our words and our ministry, and don't disappoint people, and try not to have these in, these these problems, and encourage us to to do better. Now, Paul, we find out what happens with Paul is he says, hey, let's just go for a visit, and he does strengthen the church. How does he do that? Number one, by just showing up, and number two, by doctrine and the word and preaching and writing, and he also writes the Bible, which is also cool. All right, so I think you can conclude, I don't like the Bible because it's full of humanity, but this is what God is doing with such a lot as us. Even Paul and Barnabas, absolute superstars, come to a disagreement And I don't think it excuses conflict. I think it calls us to let's do better. So today I am disappointed. Mr. Lowly Podcaster is disappointed by these two giants of the faith, by these two apostles. It's the worst thing in the Bible about these two guys. I'm glad you were here with me to hear me rant and rave. Stick with me. We'll come back tomorrow.